if they decide to vote against the payment, there are other avenues available to the Belize Bank. It is the legislative body, because our constitution mm -hmm. is supreme, parliament is not supreme. Mm -hmm. The National Assembly is not supreme. It cannot defy a court order. It cannot seek to relitigate this issue by voting no. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. So if it votes no, that would be tantamount to an arbitrary deprivation of property. Mm -hmm. which, and means? which means because I have a valid debt, mm -hmm. you decide you are going to withhold funds and not pay me. Um, that decision by you, in effect, amounts to an arbitrary decision by you to, me, to deprive me of a valid debt that mm -hmm. I have. Mm -hmm. So that what the Belize Bank can ultimately do, because this constitution of Belize is supreme, not parliament. The arbitrary deprivation of property is a breach of a fundamental right. And the Belize Bank can go before the courts and bring a constitutional claim and say, by Parliament refusing to pay, mm -hmm. allocating funds to pay, and taking a deliberate decision not to pay, this is an arbitrary deprivation of property and ask the court to fashion a remedy to declare that it is so mm -hmm. and to award damages. Those damages would be to compensate them for what they, their loss, mm -hmm. which would be their arbitral award plus interest. Mm -hmm. Once the Belize Bank has such a declaration and if the court agrees with them, then the Supreme Court of Belize has under Section 20 the power to fashion a remedy to compel the government of Belize, the Minister of Finance, to pay that money.